So the number one question I get asked when buying a marked deck, deck of cards is where are the markings on the playing cards? These are four of my top selling marked decks. We'll start off with the Penguin Magic marked deck. And on the back, the, the whole idea with a marked deck, you guys, is that you don't use it more than one or two times in a show. Uh, I use it once during my tiny plunger routine and that's it. Or I might use it twice as a mind reading effect uh, where I can guess what card that you're gonna select or whatever you want. Now the markings on the Penguin Magic Mark deck uh, are uh, right here. See Ace of Hearts. It's also here on the sides. Ace of Hearts, Ace of Hearts, Ace of Hearts, Ace of Hearts, and the Ace of Hearts. So it's on every single card. Don't think it's prominent. Don't think people are going to see it because they're not going to see it if you don't look at the back of the playing cards when they're looking at you. It's just a glimpse, you guys. It's not a big stare. You don't have to put your glasses on and then look at the cards. It's just a quick touch of card and you know what, what card it is. Uh, so this is on maiden-backed playing cards. The Penguin Magic deck, uh, Mark deck, is on maiden-backed cards. These are, uh, are uh, recently out. They're called the Pure Marked Playing Cards. If I can remember where the markings are on here, we'll have a look. There we go. So the markings on the back will be Ace of Diamonds, Ace of Diamonds, Ace of Diamonds, Ace of Diamonds. So they're just little tiny markings uh, here. Would be the King of Diamonds, the King of Diamonds, the King of Diamonds and the King of Diamonds. So it's in all four corners. Can you see that? Right here, King, King of Diamonds. So that's a little bit different than the Penguin Magic Mark deck. It's not marked here and here, but uh, you don't need uh, 800 markings on a deck of a Mark deck. Uh, those are on Mandolin back now, Mandolin backs. Uh, this is the ultimate. Uh, mad, this is the ultimate uh, mark deck. Um, they're marked with a little ace and sp ace of spades or whatever you want. Uh, just in the corner, right here. There's a little ace and a little spade. Uh, as a matter of fact, here is the blow up of it. So in the corner, there's a little ace of spades here. Now this is the speed reader deck. The Speed Reader deck and this deck are exactly the same except for the backs. This is a mandolin back and the, the ultimate mark deck is in a bicycle back deck. Um, bicycle, I think, is no longer allowing people to alter the back of playing cards. So these are going to get uh, relatively scarce. Uh, but these are marked in this corner. This corner and this corner. Where the Speed Reader deck is marked in this corner and this corner. This corner and this corner. So there's an ace of spades, a little A and a little spade in this corner. Uh, obviously not on the box, but inside. Ace, it's on this corner. So when you fan them out, you can't see the markings. Uh, let me just see. Let's use this. So they're in the opposite corner. So when you fan them out, you can't see the markings on the back of the playing cards. You just have to move this to the side and you can get a peek right here. That's the speed reader deck. No markings here. You just move this out of the way and you can see it down here. That's the speed reader deck. Uh, the speed reader deck uh, has a DVD. And if you buy the speed reader deck, uh, the DVD is three or four or five bucks. I can't remember offhand. But uh, the DVD is highly recommended for the speed reader deck because there's a lot of differences uh, in the mark deck. Uh, with the Speed Reader deck. Um, it's the opposite corners. These are a gold seal cut as well. And the hearts and diamonds are relatively big. And the spade and club is relatively small. Uh, the six... The six has a dot here and the nine does not. All right? And they also have edge reading uh, on them as well. So you can read the edges. Um... So the heart and diamond small, gold seal, and then the opposite corners of the Speed Reader deck. And then the ultimate mark deck is here and here. I hope that helps you out. We'll check in with you later on.
What's up?